Hey, hello everyone, welcome back. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this type of animated onboarding animation in Android. So as you can see, this is beautiful onboarding animated screen. So without wasting much time, let's start our tutorial. So in order to create this type of beautiful onboarding animation, we need to use some third party libraries. So just go to Chrome and search for paper onboarding Android, which is uh, given by Ramotion, right? And it has stars of 2.3K. So it is very popular nowadays. So uh, as you can see, this is our onboarding animation. And to use this library, you just need to include this dependency into your Android project. So head back to Android Studio. This is a project and include that uh, dependency into build.gradles file once you've done that sync your project after syncing your project your project will be ready to implement this type of onboarding animation right so just go to your main file here i'm having my main activity as paper onboarding activity right so this is my main activity and in if i go to my xml file as you can see this is my xml layout file of my main activity and yes i have my parent layout this is the layout inside that i have created a frame layout in which uh, i'll show my onboarding right all the screens of onboarding so this is my frame layout right so this is full screen my span both the sides after that i'm having a relative layout uh, and uh, i had uh, left some space at the bottom so inside this relative layout i had created uh, this frame layout and this uh, two frames layouts right so these are uh, to implement this image and this text views etc. After that at the bottom, here I have created a linear layout uh, so that uh, I can show this thing, right? This one. So this is the XML file. After that if I go to main activity, it's pretty easy to implement this library. You just need a variable of uh, onboarding engine. So using this syntax, you can create the variable of uh, onboarding engine. So this engine is a variable of our onboarding engine. After that, uh, you just need to pass the uh, ID of uh, your uh, XML file, the of root layout, right? It's the layout, and it uh, and uh, it is our. And after that, uh, uh, you need to pass the context and also you need to pass the data. So the data of which we have to show in our onboarding animation. So here I have created a method in which I am passing the data, right? In which I am adding the data into my uh, array list of onboarding page, right? So in this way you can create the array and add all the data into this. Uh, here I am having some images in drawable, so I had added this uh, uh, in here. I had also selected the color by the fast color. After that, here are my text views. Uh, data which I am passing here. So in this way you can add all the data into your array list and you can add it element by element and after that it will need to return the array list of paper onboarding page. So once you done this uh, by using uh, this engine variable and set on change listener you can track uh, on which uh, onboarding screen you are now and you can perform the particular op operation there. So here I am printing those message. So I had commented this line. So from uh, using all the element index, you can uh, get the previous index of your screen and new element index, you can get the new uh, new screen count, whatever the index of that screen, right? And if you need to detect the right swap and left swap, you can use this method on uh, set on right out listener or set on left out listener. So in this way, you can create this beautiful uh, onboarding animation, animation screen for your Android app with this beautiful bubble type animation. Uh, so that's enough for today's tutorial. Hope you like this tutorial and thanks for watching.